Uh, welcome. This is the uh, set of videos where I've been showing uh, the transaxle that I rebuilt and the processes involved. And after you got everything disassembled, one of the things you're going to have to do is to examine all of the parts inside. And I'm not going to go into that into a great amount of detail because there's a lot of good references on the, uh, the web and products you can buy that will, will tell you what to look for. But I'm going to show some of the things that were wrong with, uh, with my gears. So right here, for example, we have a fourth gear uh, disassembled off of the main shaft. And I'm going to be taking these gears and I'm going to put some of them in the stereo microscope here so we can look at the teeth real close. So one of the problems I was having was with, uh, with gears not wanting to engage. And we're going to look at, for example, first and second, and we'll see that some of the, the teeth don't look very good on the synchros. So the synchros, these, uh, this is fourth, these uh, little teeth are on the outside. So let's get started, and we'll get started with uh, first gear. And here we're inspecting the slider teeth on first gear. We can see some uh, wearing out of the outside edge. I can even feel a little step with my fingernail on some of them. Some of them actually show some uh, some pitting. The occasional chunks of metal missing out of them. And the way they're flattened down makes me think this may be the reason why we're having some trouble with it uh, not wanting to go into first gear. We're considering this one to be candidate for replacement. There's a particularly ugly looking tooth there with some chunks missing out. So that was the first gear. The outer surface on the gear outside actually looks fine. It's just those uh, synchro teeth do not look so well. Quick look at the other side we can see the some of the thrust surface. Really pretty good, doesn't feel rough. There we are. So this is the slider gear. We put it in the microscope so we can look at the the gear faces. Looking at one side of it. Kind of see where they're worn a little bit. Flip them over. The other side. And you can see a little bit of wear on uh, the reverse teeth on the reverse gear, which are out here. This is the 1 2 uh, slider assembly. Let's look at those inside teeth again. Okay, we're now looking at some of the teeth on the third gear uh, drive hub. So we can see there's some pitting, some scoring. Some of them look pretty bad. There's a really bad looking one there. I think we're going to end up replacing this drive hub. There's another one that's kind of beat up. That one. Just looking at all the little teeth on the where it engages the synchro hub. So that is our third gear drive hub. Fourth real quick, this is fourth gear drive hub. You can see the uh, angles are much crisper. There's none of that uh, pitting that we saw in third gear. Eh, a few of them are a little bit worn. But not nearly as bad. That was fourth. Okay, here we're taking a look at the uh, 
teeth on the slider hub for uh, third and fourth. I believe, but I'm not sure that this is the fourth gear side. Its teeth are in pretty good shape. You know, a little bit flattened. Occasionally one will be beat up. That one there's got some paint on it. But generally in good shape. But if we flip it over and look at the third gear side, at least what I think is the third gear side, we can see they're rounded. There's some uh, pitting. Rounded, 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 rounded. A little bit of pitting there. Again, this is what we think is the third gear side. And there's some chunks missing. Pitting. Something we're going to try to replace if we can.